I've configured warning pages for a few websites, and one such website is Canva.me. So when I try to access Canva.me, I land on a warning page, as you can see right here, right? But the problem is, when I try to click on the Continue button, I land on a 404 page not found. You see right here, right? So in today's video, we're going to take a look at what causes this problem and how to fix this problem. But before proceeding, I would request you to kindly consider subscribing, liking, sharing, and commenting to help me grow the channel. Thank you so much. Let's proceed. All right, so from the dashboard on the left-hand side, go to Connect, and then click on End User Connectivity, and then Internet Security. On the Internet Security, you'll find there's a list for Internet Security Bypass. Well, the problem is right here. I am bypassing Cisco.com, as you can see right here, Bypass Web Security. Let me just highlight it for you real quick. This is Cisco.com right here. It should not be bypassed, so I'm going to show it to you how it fixes the problem. If I go ahead and remove it, click on these three dots right here, and then click on Delete. To click on Delete, it asks you, hey, you really want to do it? Well, yes. I want to go ahead and delete it. That's it. We're done. Now we're going to go ahead and try to access Canada.me. But before that, let me tell you that we need to wait for it to sync the configuration. And for that, uh, we have a couple of ways to make sure that the sync happens quickly. So let's go back to the client and let's check that out. On the client, to make sure that the sync happens right away, I'm going to go ahead and restart the umbrella agent. So I can just say restart, and that's pretty much it. So once it goes ahead and... Okay, great. So we're done. Let me just minimize this and now try to access Canva.me again. Canva.me, hit enter, and let's see what do we get. Okay, again, I landed on the warning page. This time I click on continue, and... Voila, there you go. That's it. Now, there are other domains as well that if you place them in the internet security bypass list, just like Cisco.com, that can cause this problem. Let's take a look at them.